Would you break my truck window to save my life? Thanks for watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brothers, and today I want to talk about a little bit of a heavy topic, and that is safety and what to do in an emergency situation when we're out there on the trails with our friends. As a lot of you guys know, sometimes I ride alone, sometimes I'm with groups, and when I ride alone, I tend to ride a little bit more conservative than I do when I'm with groups. Obviously, there's risk involved with anything we do in our lives. There's risk just going you know, to work in the morning on the freeway or on the highway. Uh, driving your car and there's obviously some risk when we're doing uh, the thing that we love which is dirt biking um, but one of the things we can do to help um, help you know mitigate against too much risk is to have a little bit of emergency preparedness and a little bit of em an emergency plan this I want to bring this up because one of our one of my viewers Andy actually emailed me with a story a, a couple of months ago about what happened to him and his group basically there were a few riders and they got split up in the woods one group went one way one group went the other way well Andy was with a couple of guys that didn't have truck keys so that the truck that they had used to come in you know back at the starting point uh, those truck keys were off with the other group out in the middle of the woods and they had a really bad situation where somebody was losing a lot of blood because of a bad crash and they ended up, excuse me, they ended up making a tourniquet to try to keep him from bleeding out. And they had to flag down somebody on a Kawasaki mule to be able to take them back to the hospital into town uh, because they didn't have any way to get into that truck and to drive that truck. Uh, so one of the things that we can all do is when we do get in those groups, we need to know who's got the truck keys and we should actually have them probably a spare set at the truck where everyone knows where that is so that people could get into it. With my truck, I typically just leave, leave the keys locked inside the truck in the console and there's a keypad on the side for me to get into that door. And so some of my riding buddies, they either know that combination or I tell them, hey, the keys are in the truck. If, if worst case scenario happens, you know, you come back here, boom, you just bust the window, bust the back window on that truck and you can get in and you can get us to the hospital if need be. And so I tell my riding friends, hey, bust the window if, we, if you need to get into my truck and, and let's get out of here. Uh, so it's good to have an emergency plan like that. It's good to know if people have, you know, wh where their insurance cards are or, or if they have like some sort of a, a blood thinner, you know, that they're taking or just some of these real, or if they have an allergy is probably a better thing. If they've got an allergy to certain medications, it would be nice to know some of these basic things about your riding buddies, especially the ones that you're riding with all the time because you know, it, it, it could save somebody's life. If you have some of these things planned out in advance, it could, it could end up saving a rider's life. And, uh, and that's, that's, uh, that's something to definitely think about. Again, there's risk involved with everything in our lives. Dirt bikes, um, some of the stuff that we do on them is inherently a little bit more risky than the other things that we do in our lives. But I, you know, I'm not going to stop just because there's a little bit of danger. I take calculated risks. I've been riding now for seven years and I haven't yet even been to the hospital uh, because I've, I, I don't push it too hard. You know, I have to get up and go to work on Monday morning or, or the next day. And so I don't want to, I don't want to put myself into like crazy risk. You know, but there are some inherent risks with dirt biking and those are things that I'm, I'm uh, you know, they're calculated risks for me. So it might be good for us to have a little bit of a plan with our, uh, with our riding buddies and a way for them to start that vehicle, either hiding a key somewhere around, on or around the vehicle or, uh, you know, if there's a keypad or something or the worst result or the last result, break the window to get inside and get that truck started and get out to, you know, emergency services. So it'd also be good for everyone if they had some basic, you know, uh, emergency type skills and, and things like that or basic uh, first aid skills in your group. So just some stuff to think about. I know this was a heavy handed topic today, um, but I thought it's worth noting for us in the dirt bike community to be thinking about things like this because it could save a friend's life. Thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.